one thing before I start this video. I want everybody to go and do me a big favor. My buddy, uh, one of my old high school buddies, man, uh, we both love the horror. I got, I've seen him again, man. It's been years since I've hung out with him. He came over the other day. We were talking horror and shit. Um, he's starting his collection up. I mean, he already has a pretty good collection. Uh, he's not made any videos or anything yet, but uh, he does want recommendations and shit like that. He loves 80s horror. He loves a cheesy horror. So if you guys could go to uh, jparker277, go to his page, and go give him some recommendations. Go show him some videos and shit. I'd appreciate it. Thanks. OD666666 with a few reviews and things I've seen lately that I've enjoyed for the most part. So how's it going everybody? Well hey, I got this finally. The Girl Next Door. Uh, I did enjoy this. Yeah, it took me a long time to get this. Uh, I know everybody's seen it, everybody's heard about it, everybody's done reviews about it, but whatever man. Hey. Good movie. Uh, doesn't leave you in the, in the best of moods after watching it. It's, it keeps you pissed off, you know. Uh, I'm not going to do a review on it because everybody pretty, pretty much knows what it's about. So, there you go. How do you like that? How you like them apples? Whoops. Shit. I'm dropping shit all over the place. Then this one, man. <laughs> yeah, the faculty. I know. I know. It's got, it's got pretty boys, pretty girls in it. But, man, you know, this movie, this was a fun movie in the 90s. Uh... I, I don't like a lot of stuff from the 90s. I'm not big on horror from the 90s. I'm not saying all all of it sucked because there is a few exceptions. But for the most part, uh, now I think when Scream came out, it really messed stuff up. Uh, the first Scream, I hated it when it came out. I watched it not too long ago. It wasn't too bad. But I hate what it did to horror because it just really killed off the 80s style horror. It's still out there. You know, there's still 80s influenced horror out there. It's still going on. But for the most part, it did the whole teeny bop thing. You know, anyway, I'm getting off. Anyway, okay. The Faculty. This is a really fun flick, man. Uh, it does have some CGI in there, which, you know, some of it looks shitty. Some of it looks decent. But it's just a cool flick, man. I mean, it reminded me, you know, like, Disturbing Behavior. I don't have that movie. That I thought that movie was okay, too. I don't know, there's just something about these these kids in school where the teachers are, you know, evil or aliens or whatever that I just dig. Like, Class of 1999, that was a cool-ass movie. Uh, this movie is just, I just th thought it was a really fun flick. I mean, even though it was like Tommy Hilfiger models and all that shit. But hey, man, I can't help it, I dug the flick. Let me, get, no, let me know what you guys think about that one. Uh, oh man, Dyslexic Nick, man, finally watched Brighton Walk. I really enjoyed this flick, man. Uh, this is really fun. Uh, just silly, cheesy, good time, man. Basically what it is, is uh, this ninja overtake, wants to overtake Brighton. And uh, he's, he gets all his troops together. And, uh, you know, they, they, uh, they don't want anybody smoking weed. They don't want anybody doing shit. Like, he, you know, he just tries... To, I mean, it's funny. It's like a real simple story. He just tries to take over... And uh, they gotta find the chosen one, you know, to save the day. And it turns out to be this this average dude, you know. He uh, <laughs> he gets taught by this old guy here, you know, the uh, the art of ganja boxing. And the old dude, you know, tells him, you know, he can't unlock his powers unless he smokes some weed. And uh, so he goes training, you know, and training and does a big, you know, and montage him training to be a big ninja and shit. But it's just, it was a, it was just a really fun flick. I don't, you know, I don't want to give too much away. Uh, Nick, man, I really appreciate this. This was really good, man. You're right. Right up my alley. Good stuff, man. If you haven't checked this out, definitely, I'd, I'd recommend it. Um, another one I just picked up. Really, I really enjoyed this movie, man. Uh, The Disturbance. Uh, it was, you know, it's, it's a mid-80s movie. Uh, I haven't really heard anybody talk about it before. I was just looking up box sets on Amazon, and I seen Rare Flicks had some box sets up. And I know Rare Flicks, you know, they, they're they also, you know, the Media Blasters and Shriek Show and all that. And I love my Shriek Show box sets. 
So I said, why not give this a try? You know, I read up on the disturbance. I went and watched a trailer. It looked awesome. I got it. It's basically about this dude. You know, he's a real loner. He still lives with his mom. He's like, you know, 20, I think 27 or 28 years old. Uh, he has social issues. He can't cope with society. Uh, so anyway, he's taking medication for his, you know, schizophrenia and shit. And he runs out. And he just, it's its not a gory movie, and it's not like he kills a bunch of people. It's not like that, really. It's basically like this dude just going crazy. He sees a lot of hallucinations. Uh, that's where a lot of the effects come from in this movie. There's a lot of special effects. I think it's from the same dude that did, yeah, the same dude that did effects for Day of the Dead. He did effects for this movie. Uh... Like I said, it's not real gory or anything, but he sees shit. Like, he sees a lot of hallucinations, so it's, like, really weird shit. Like, his hands melting, and he sees, like, eyeballs in his bathtub, and he's, you know... It's crazy shit like that. I just really like movies that show somebody just slowly, like, you know, descend into madness. I, I love that shit. I love Psycho movies. I love that kind of thing. I love the original Psycho. You know, I love Maniac. Stuff like that. Um, now, this, this uh, Rare Flix release... The uh, audio is shit. Um, it's not the best audio, but I'm pretty sure this is the only way you can get this movie, at least in America. Uh, you know, this is a damn good flick to check out. It came in a three pack with. Uh... Okay, well I'll just show. I haven't watched these other movies yet, but it came in a three pack with uh, Pose for Murder and uh, Death Collector. If you guys know anything about either of these flicks, let me know. You know, I, I got a bunch of shit to watch, so I don't know whether I should watch them first or watch them last or what. But, uh, yeah, if you guys have seen Pose for Murder or Death Collector, let me know how those are. I don't know anything about them. But the disturbance is definitely worth checking, getting that set for, because I paid like $5 for that box set. And they come in, you know, regular cases. <coughs> it's got this shitty Rare Flicks thing on it, but, hey, I thought it was worth it. I liked it. Um... Then, I got some movies that really made me happy. The Hidden. Damn, man, I was holding out on buying this forever. I remember Resident Vania, you know, talking about this movie and how much he loved it. I finally picked this up, man, and I love I loved this movie. The Hidden is an awesome flick. I'm really surprised it's not talked about more. Now, I've heard The Hidden 2 isn't that good, but I haven't watched that one yet, so whatever. But The Hidden is... Uh, basically like a, a sci-fi horror type story uh it's about this alien parasite that comes to earth uh it basically like gets into people's bodies uh controls them uh makes them <laughs> makes them violent love uh loud rock and roll music uh fast cars and violence so i mean there you go so anyway, when it when the alien infects you, you just you know basically they just go on a killing spree pretty much. And there's a lot of people that get killed in this movie. Uh, it's not overly gory, but there is a lot of kills in this movie. A lot of gunshots, a lot of people getting killed, you know, like that. Um, <clears throat> it does have action element in it. There's a lot of explosions and shit like that. Um, but it's just a really fun flick, man. Really good, man. If you guys have seen The Hidden, let me know what you think about that. That might be Jay the Stingray. Uh, if you haven't seen this, I think you would be into that, man. Because I know you like the Cronenberg and stuff like that. I'm not saying this is Cronenberg. But it's good, man. It's good, fun sci-fi, just cheesy greatness. So, yeah, The Hidden. Uh, then, man, this, you know, I this movie is great. And I'm an idiot for just now picking this up. Now, I've had this movie on a, a VHS from a long time ago. I've had this son bitch for a long time. But uh, you know what? This VHS is rated R. And I was looking on the case because on the back it doesn't say rated R. and the VHS it doesn't have a rating. But right on the front, really small, it says restricted. Yeah, this case is shit. This case is dirt all over it and shit. But it's uh, it's rated R. So this uh, that uh, Code Red put out, it's it's unrated. And I did notice different gore scenes in this. And man, this movie is a little bit slow starting out, but it's it's in a uh, mental institution. I love shit that's in you know that's that's in a mental institution. I love that atmosphere. That shit just turns me on. But uh, no, uh, anyway, this chick goes to a mental institution. She's saying she has amnesia. She don't know who she is. She's telling everybody somebody stole her memory. 
Uh, and uh, so anyway, the backstory is there used to be this doctor at that hospital that would do like kind of like lobotomies on his patients because he just like flipped his shit and went crazy and uh, was cutting people's heads open and shit and playing with their brains and giving them lobotomies and all this other shit. And he like, he had all these bodies in this pit, you know, all of his experiments that went wrong, they went in this pit and he called it the dead pit. Anyway, so this chick is like seeing visions of that doctor and she's like saying, oh, somebody took my, stole my memory and I remember little bits and pieces of it. And the doctors are like, bitch, you crazy. So anyway, so she's locked up in the mental institution and, uh, you know, the, then the doctor comes back to life and he's got glowing red eyes and he goes on a slashing spree and then, you know, I don't want to give too much away, but there's zombies and shit in it. There's, there's a lot of gore in it, man. This movie was awesome. I, you know, like I said, I'm disappointed I didn't pick this on Ready to Cut Up earlier. I loved it. I love this movie. Uh, whoops. I got a couple more here. Got, uh, Dahmer vs. Gacy. Uh, I, when I heard of this, I was like, oh shit, I gotta pick this up, man. Cause I, you know, I dig some of the serial killer shit. I, I got some books on serial killers and stuff like that. I, it's, it's interesting. But, uh, this movie, it was, it was entertaining, man. There was, there was things that I didn't care for in it. Uh, like the, like the news, uh, the newscast. Some of that shit was funny, but then I kind of think it went on a little too long. Like, it kind of seemed like filler. And just some of the scenes kind of seemed like filler. They were a little bit too silly. But I did enjoy this flick. I think there was, there, you know, there was a handful of scenes in it that made it work for me. That made me like it. Basically what it is, is like this doctor. He's cloning, you know, killers and shit. To make, uh, I don't know, it's it's such a silly plot. It's like, he wants to make uh, soldiers for, you know, the army and whatever. And he, so he clones serial killers and, yeah. So yeah, he clones Dahmer and Gacy. And they, 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 uh, they break loose. And they wreak havoc. And then uh, somebody has to put an end to it. And it's actually got the voice of Harlan Williams. From, uh, you know, like Superstar and uh, the the... I don't even remember what the other shit was called he was in, but he, I don't know. He was, well, he's in Half-Baked, remember him in Half-Baked, and uh, some other shit. Rocket Man, yeah, Rocket Man, you know, that silly movie. Uh, but yeah, anyway, he's not in it, but his voice, he plays the voice of God in it. But anyway, I don't know. It was alright. Uh, then this, man, uh, yeah, I got the Cannibal Lunchbox, with, but I just want to talk about this movie right now. Warlock Moon, pretty bad movie, man. It's, it's a pretty bad movie. Now, it, it's definitely worth it because I got the Sh uh, Shriek Show box set. It came with A Man from Deep River and uh, Blood Feast, too, which I already have, but I like to, I like to have that, that version anyway because I have the unrated version. I have both versions because I love that movie. But, yeah, anyway, Warlock Moon, pretty dull movie, man. But the one good thing about it is it does have a good commentary by the man himself Joe Bob Briggs I love that man's commentary man it's just awesome it keeps you entertained he's just so knowledgeable man I wish he would come to one of these conventions because I'd love to meet him uh, also uh, I watched a movie uh, another Shriek Show movie that came in uh, shit I can't think of the name of the box set but anyway the name of that movie is Blood Sisters that movie sucked ass but the Joe Bob Briggs commentary made it all worth it. It was great. But yeah, anyway, so that's that's all I've got. I mean, I've got a lot of other shit that I picked up that I haven't watched yet that I didn't really want to talk about and bore you guys with. But anyways, I'm hitting 13 minutes. You guys are probably bored as shit. You're probably skipping through my video. So bye!